morning, friends. <laughs> so, I'm at the doctor for my yearly checkup. And I have a few things that I also want to talk to him about as far as like random weight gain and just a like bunch of little things. So, that's exciting. But my dad is in town and he is at the house with the kids so I was able to hop out without them and not have to bring them all to this doctor's appointment. But I am 23 minutes early so I figured I would go ahead and start the vlog and tell you hello, good morning. And now I'm going to hop off here and go inside. So yeah. See you soon. So it's been a few hours. I kind of just stopped vlogging because I got some like unexpected news of the doctor. Nothing about like being pregnant or anything, but just some concerning stuff. And I'll be talking about it later. Anyway, I have another doctor's appointment in August. So I'll be updating after that next appointment. He already went bye bye, Liv. You missed it. Um, so yeah. But I went to the grocery store after my doctor's appointment and loaded us up on groceries. And my dad just left, which is why Olivia's mad. But yeah, so we're just kind of at the house hanging out and that's about it. Here, why don't you just talk to it? Someone is clearly not in the best mood. Hey boy, uh-uh, no, no. And these babies are going to be the death of all of my blinds. Can you stop? They already broke them. No, no. No, no. No, no. All right, let's get down. Do you need to go take a nap, Grumpy Pants? Huh? Okay, friends. So I kind of just stopped vlogging today because after my doctor's appointment, my mind has just been like all over the place. So I don't want to be like super dramatic or anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and like tell you what happened. So I, um, if you've been watching my vlogs and if you've been watching the last few vlogs, you hear me say a few times that like I don't know what's wrong with me or like I'm just so tired or I can't keep up if you've been following my vlogs for a while you know that like I've just felt off and um I've been like randomly gaining weight and stuff like that so it's just been like a lot over the last six months and I've been gaining weight like despite trying not to like I'm eating super healthy we've always eaten really healthy we don't keep junk food in the house I've I used to go to Chick-fil-A and Starbucks like literally every single morning and I don't do that anymore. Like I'll have the occasional Starbucks drink and it's usually just like iced coffee with cream. And um, when I go to Chick-fil-A, it's usually breakfast and I get a chicken, egg and cheese bagel and that's like it. So I went to my doctor today with a few concerns and we talked and he took some lab, um, he did some lab work and he did a, a thyroid exam like he examined like my neck and my chest and he felt my thyroid and made me like swallow water a bunch of times and all this crazy stuff. So um, he wasn't saying a whole lot. He seemed a little concerned and so I kind of had to pull it out of him. And I was like, I know that you just examined my thyroid. And let me preface this by saying like I love, 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 love my doctor and trust him and I know he's not trying to like scam me or get money out of me or anything like that. Like he's a genuinely nice man, genuine best doctor I've ever been to in my life, never has made me feel crazy or like a hypochondriac or anything like that. So I said, I know you just examined my thyroid, um, did it feel okay? Molly's out here and she wants inside. So if you hear her barking, that's what, that's why. Um, and he just kind of was like, and he goes, it felt, and he used the word generous. And so I was like, so it's enlarged. And he was like, yeah, it's large. Um, he said, I'm considering sending you over for an ultrasound. Um, he said, but I kind of want to get these lab results back first. And he said that they'll start trickling in over the next 10 days and he'll have the final ones back in 10 days. So he wants me back. Um, he said he didn't want to have the conversation over the phone, which kind of freaked me out. My mind immediately went to bad places. 
So he said he wants me back in 10 days so that we can have a conversation face to face and so that he, he said he's probably going to have more questions for me and I'll probably have more questions for him. Um, and I'm assuming that's just us going to be like discussing what our next steps are. I think he's pretty positive that my thyroid is freaking screwed up. Um, like airing on the side of hypothyroidism, if not Hashimoto's disease. And I'm praying to God it's not thyroid cancer because that would just blow. Um, but on the bright side, um, at least it's like my thyroid and hopefully nothing more serious. And so that's something that can be managed and can be taken care of and um, can be like re-regulated and stuff like that. So there's hope that I can possibly start feeling better um, with treatment. Um, but he wanted me back in 10 days, but his next slot of like his next available appointment time was like August 14th, which is almost like three, it's like three weeks, three and a half weeks, it's like three weeks from now. So, um, that sucks because my mind's just kind of racing and I'm freaking out a bit. Um, so ever since the appointment, I've just been all over the place. I have a family member who... <laughs> We aren't blood related, but uh, she has dealt with thyroid issues that um, later she ended up dealing with cancer. And so I just, I, and I know that like since we're not blood related, it's not like she gave it to me or whatever. But because I watched her go through what she went through, I'm just like nervous. But yeah, so that's why today's vlog kind of went down the drain but I had good intentions I really was gonna vlog I was gonna vlog going to the grocery store and I got a little bit of the kids but honestly my mind's just like all over the place so I'm just gonna go ahead and end it here um, I'm about to make some nice cream um, I'll show you that and then we will just like end it okay so on to the nice cream okay so I'm in the kitchen now <laughs> for this I have an after hours sweet tooth, if you will. So when the kids go down, mama starts craving the sweet stuff. Um, so instead of eating actual ice cream, I have found that I can blend up a frozen banana, a splash of milk, and some frozen fruit, and it's like straight amazing bomb.com ice cream. So I'll show you how I do it. You can see me here? Yeah. So. Tonight I'm feeling frozen peaches, frozen bananas, and I think I'm gonna throw one strawberry in. One strawberry. And I just like, I take these chunks and I just break them in half. One frozen banana. Surprisingly, this makes a lot. Two frozen peaches. Since those are stuck together. Splash of milk. Well, look at that. So freaking good so yeah that is what I'm about to sit down and enjoy I am going to read your comments on today's vlog and um, well not today's vlog because you're watching the one that you're watching today but the one the last vlog I'm gonna go respond to comments on there eat this and turn on TV show until it's time for me to hit the bed so hit the hay hit the sack whatever anyway thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you liked what you saw give it a big thumbs up if you didn't give it a big thumbs down and be sure to hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you can get notified when we do upload and I will catch you in the next one